Turning now to an update on the 2020 election audit underway in Arizona. Maricopa County, uh, Arizona audit Twitter account sending this tweet out earlier in the morning. They are alleging, quote, Maricopa County deleted a directory full of election databases from the 2020 election cycle days before the election equipment was delivered to the audit. This is spoilation of evidence, end quote. Joining us to react now, Ryan Fournier, founder of Students for Trump, and his group is based in Arizona. He's been closely following this audit. And uh, Newsmax has not verified the allegation made in this tweet. The audit, of course, cannot retroactively change the results of the election, which have clearly been certified, as we know. Uh, but Ryan, this tweet is coming from an account that claims to be the Senate liaison for the Maricopa County 2020 Forensic Election Audit. What is it implying here? Right. So what it's essentially implying here, and, and th there's a lot of stuff to kind of break down here, is that there were certain files, log files and databases that were removed uh, from the system prior to it going uh, to an audit after the election occurred. So this would be the second audit. There are many uh, Arizona Republicans who believe the first one wasn't uh, enacted or done correctly according to Arizona law, which is why this one is being carried out. Um, many people would argue, uh, I would say people who aren't in IT or security, that log files mean nothing. But log files are the first thing uh, that a hacker or wrongful party would try to remove or delete uh, as they show what files have been edited or changed in the process. So this is pretty critical if this is the information that's coming out. And, and I would say one other thing as well, uh, the voting company, uh, according to Ken Bennett, who uh, was the former Secretary of State who's leading this audit, uh, said on a whim that the only people that had access to this or the secondary password uh, for access was this voting company. Now, not being conspiratorial, this is just stuff that I'm hearing, stuff that's being said, but it is very dangerous if this comes out to be true. And I'm just asking people, you know, keep a watch on this stuff. I know it's boring. I know that, you know, you're seeing this stuff. There's live streams, there's 24 hour uh, security on this stuff. And I guess some people just aren't watching it because it's just a traditional voting uh, audit. But I, I would say keep a close eye on this stuff because you don't know what's going to come out of it. But it is getting pretty interesting. For the latest, let's bring in Newsmax White House correspondent Emerald Robinson live for us at the White House this morning. Emerald, what's really being alleged here? Hi, Emma. The uh, Maricopa, or excuse me, the Maricopa County, Arizona audit aud auditors are saying that Maricopa County deleted all, uh, key, deleted a directory full of elec election databases from the 2020 uh, election in, in these files. They put out uh, the pathways that they were looking at and uh, how they see that that data has been deleted. Deleted. Now, what that has prompted, it has prompted the Arizona State Senate, who commissioned this audit, to send a letter to Maricopa County Board of Supervisors. In their letter, Emma and Sean, they're asking that Maricopa County meets with them on uh, the morning of Tuesday, May 18th, to try to resolve these issues. They say in a way that will prevent any additional subpoenas and any other compulsory actions. They're also hoping that they can resolve this in a way to get the information that they're looking for outside of having to go to court yet again. Now, in their letter, they lay out three major grievances. Lastly, that includes those deleted databases. In the letter, they say that they've had issues with ongoing compliance with legislative subpoenas. So as we've talked about a lot this week, the lack of turning over routers and usernames and passwords. They're also saying that they continue to have uh, issues with the chain of custody of ballots. That's very important in elections is how these ballots are handled and the chain of custody so you can see exactly where they came from. They said they found several anomalies, including no chain of custody, custody documentation in some cases, and they want to know if the county has that and can provide it. And also ballot bags were unsealed. But of course, the most explosive news, their most explosive claim is that days before turning over this information, this equipment, that Maricopa County knowingly deleted databases. They're asking if they still have those databases, they still have that election data, and if there were any backups. Now, in the letter, they say that, quote, we have recently discovered that the entire database directory from D drive of the machine, EMS primary, has been deleted. This removes election-related details that appear to have been covered by the subpoena. 
Now, uh, one of my sources related to the audit said that this is very important, that uh, the audits, uh, that the deleted, the deleted information from these drives should face a full forensics investigation. So they're hoping that Maricopa County's Board of Supervisors will work with them on this, Emma.